What's up guys? Welcome back to another three sided box plays. Uh, today we're jumping into some Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 or Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. Uh, it's a little delayed this video I know. It's been uh, about two weeks since the game came out but uh, we had some uh, technical di technical difficulties the, with uh, tripods, cameras and we ordered a new tripod and it came in like a week after it was supposed to and whatever. But everything's good now, we're gonna jump into it. Uh, I'm rocking the uh, Four Kage shirt. Love these guys. Uh, everyone knows I'm a big Naruto fan, so you know I, I own the other games too. Uh, I'm not that great at them, but uh, I love this game, I love this show, I love the mangas, I love everything about it. So uh, we're gonna jump into the story mode. We're gonna skip past the, um, the first fight with Madara and Hashirama just because it's the demo and I'm sure everybody's seen it and it's a bit of a tutorial at the beginning too. So we're gonna jump straight into some uh, the first chapter, two unparalleled warriors with some Naruto and Sasuke. Uh, I've already played the first chapter because I couldn't wait two weeks to not touch this game at all. But I've I've tried to re refrain myself from playing it too much. Um, so let's just jump into it. Let's become some ninjas. First off, uh, Naruto. Now my top five characters for this show. I'm a guy with likes lists and things that. You know, link cohesively, uh, like a movie with number titles and stuff like that. That's how I am. Top five uh, Naruto characters. Sasuke is number one. Number two, Kakashi. Number three, Itachi. Number four, Naruto. And number five, I want to say Jiraiya. I don't really have a definitive number five, but uh, I'll give it to Jiraiya. He's a, he's a beast. Love that guy. Uh, you can watch my top five uh, anime video that we released a couple months ago. That's kind of changed now. It's not fully. It wasn't fully thought out then either. But there's so many anime. It's so hard to rank them. But I, in truth, I have a top three, and the top three in that video is pretty much my untouchable. So go check it out. Uh, yeah, it's a great, great video. Obviously, it's mine. But uh, uh, you know, I'm a big anime fan. That's pretty much all I do is I watch anime. Um, I'm not too sure how far I'm going to get into this game, just because uh, I don't know if I want to surpass the show uh, on in the game. Uh, I already know pretty much what happens. I haven't read the mangas, but essentially I have a pretty good idea. Uh, the, the game starts off past the English part, which I'm watching in English and in Japanese, even though I've watched everything full. When they stop the English episodes, I watch them in Japanese from there on out all the way till... Uh, to where they are now in Japanese, but I'm I'm watching not every English uh, episode that comes out too that's dubbed. So uh, so they're already past that, which is pretty cool. Even though they're almost here in English, or probably about half a year away, which is a lot. But you know, whatever, what can you do? Which is cool. This is probably one of my favorite episodes uh, where we finally find out. Well, we already knew pretty much. But we officially find out who Toby is or Madara. So, uh, yeah, let's just jump into it. It's a cool little cutscene. Wish it was more of an animation thing, but I guess, you know, the budgets were not that high. Plus, um, yeah, pretty much played out already on the show, so I guess to put a whole giant thing for it would have been a bit too much. I love Uchiha's, if you can tell from my list. I love, uh, Ocular Prowess. It's probably why Code Geass is my second favorite anime. Spoiler alert for people who haven't watched Code Geass. <laughs> Ish. Oh man. See, he sells Madara's voice at this point. Naruto ain't taking any of that. I believe it. <laughs> That's his dream. It's hard not to get inspired when you watch this show or, or play the games or read the mangas. It, it's very hard. He, Naruto, he gets to you. Now, obviously, I'm a bit of a otaku or otaku, whatever you pronounce it. In terms of the, you know, way I pretty much get inspired by fictional people. That's it, Naruto. You tell them. Like I said, I, I suck at this game, so you know, keep that in mind. I'm more of a Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter type uh, fighting game guy, but uh, not too bad at this game. Never really taken the time to get very good at it, but... Uh, 
Oh yeah, I saw that coming, boy. Planetary Rosen Shuriken. How? Oh man. S. Hey, I got an S. Okay. I barely got touched by him. Believe it. One thing I must say Kakashi's voice in English is probably one of my favorite. Uh, Dave Hittenberg, I believe it is. Not too sure. I can't remember, but I uh, love his voice. Oh, man. You're too late. It's so cool. It's so cool. You're wasting your time. Oh. What? Impossible. Impossible. I get it. My attack isn't what erased that shadow clone. It was Kamui. Damn, Kakashi. He figured out that we're connected to the same space. He figured it out. Who are you? Who are you? Obito Uchiha. And I got my S. Identity revealed. I thought I already got that trophy. Yeah, it's not. Unless you get yeah, I think you can re achieve trophies. Uh Okay, so that's Naruto's part done. Next up we'll jump to uh Sasuke, my boy. Land of fire. I wanted them to use uh, Jiraiya's voice for the, uh, the narration, just like they did in the, um, the movies and stuff. Uh, he was in the the narrative for the the last Naruto of the movie. It was a phenomenal movie. Really, um, probably my favorite one. It's because it actually has meaning. It's canon. Uh, his brother's words had all been lies. The hidden leaf was the real enemy. Who, who honestly, truly saw that the coming? Tiny flames of hatred grew yes, we all knew was the there was some other plot line behind it, and I can't remember at the time if we fully understood the story. I don't think so, because I feel like then it would have killed this whole part. But uh, who truly saw Itachi really being a hero back then? If you think about it, if you go that far back, which for a lot of people, you have to go literally your childhood when you were like 12 years old. Oh man, this is a crazy part of the show. So sad. See, a lot of people don't like Sasuke because he's like a whiny you know, bitch. For lack of a better term, but I, I mean, the guy has gone through everything. He literally had his clan slaughtered just pretty much before his eyes. He didn't actually see any of it actually happening, but I mean, you know, it essentially happened before his, his very eyes. And he's, you know, what, what do you expect when your brother is public enemy number one of the Hidden Leaf Village? Public enemy number one, it's just quotations. But, uh,. And it turns out he was a hero the whole time. I mean, I probably would get really pissed at the Leaf 2 and want to destroy them too for a fair amount of time. Thank God Itachi got reanimated so he was able to uh, change his mind. I must say, Yuri Lowenthal, 
Lewenthal. Sorry, I'm not sure if I pronounced your name right, but uh, you were probably my favorite voice actor on the planet. And yes, Sasuke is my favorite character, and there's a little bias in there, but... Uh, Suzaku, uh, Simon, uh, what's his name from Durana, I forgot the doctor's name, uh, I mean, dude, the prince from Prince of Persia, I mean, you, before I really got into anime, you were doing voices that I loved, so, come to Montreal so I can meet you or something, dude, because, uh, we spoke about you with, uh, Steve Blum, or Steve Bloom, last year you came to Montreal, that was great, Orochimaru's voice. Oh, they're about to summon Speak of the Devil, Orochimaru. Jugo, bring that woman too. Anko. I feel bad for her. I really do. She literally got caught up in a shitstorm from a very young age. The seal absorbed Orochimaru's chakra. We'll just use that to summon. One thing I love about uh, Yuri, the Sasuke's voice is the way he pronounces names: Orochimaru, Naruto, Sakura, Itachi. You know, he 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 really brought out the, um, more of a, a Japanese tone to it, which uh, I really appreciate. He does that in a lot of his animes, where a lot of guys like you hear uh, Madara rather than Madara, uh, which I don't understand why they just can't emphasize on you know certain things and. Uh, uh, fight. Oh yeah. That ass. Burn. Burn out, sir. Even Steve Blum or Bloom, I mean... He really made Orochimaru sound like a big creep. Because I find in Japanese he sounded more like an old man than anything. Whereas in English they really made him sound like a big creep, which essentially is what he is. Steve Blum in Montreal last summer. Uh, first thing I told him is the way you say Sasuke, just like it, it's, it's almost bone chilling, creepy, you know. And he actually said it, like he said it, Sasuke. And then he wrote it down on the uh, on the poster. I made him uh, ask for him to autograph. Really nice guy. I do something if I fully recharge my chakra. Come on, give me a scene. This should be enough no, to get the scene. Yeah, there it is. S rank again! Wow, I'm doing better the second time, right? I guess my practice has been paying off. Practice. Barely playing it for two weeks, but my boy, the Taka. Had enough? I've limbered up. Yes, that'll do for now. Fighting him made me realize that he's a bit different from before. This guy, immortal Orochimaru. There's something I want you to do for me, Orochimaru. Yes, you really don't need to explain all that. I've been watching him the whole time. Remember. I might, I'm gonna try and cosplay as Sasuke this and summer. When you meet them, then Either him or Kakashi, I can't decide. I know too little. I want them to tell me everything. You needn't trouble yourself with all that. Oh, I can't wait for this a bit dubbed, to be fully dubbed in English and episode wise. No. I really want to watch this again. I'm not a child. Not anymore. I can't be a child. I need to know how it all began. 
Finally, Sasuke is actually taking the initiative to understand like the full story behind what's been happening, and rather than just making decisions and just so the first time with Itachi, fine. But then, like, oh, your brother did it to save the village, and then he's like, oh, well, I'm going to destroy it. You think it through for you know a ten minutes, sleep on it or something, because he literally made the decision two seconds after he heard the story from. Uh, Toby, which later we find out is Obito. <laughs> oh, to a place you know very well indeed. I'm back home. Come, let's go. Show me that ass. Show me that ass. That ass. Oh yeah. Believe it. Death of Bio. Okay, maybe I'm getting those trophies for getting S ranks. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. S rank completion. Five. That's, that's pretty awesome. Alright, guys. So that's been it for uh, for part one. Uh, it's a bit longer than I thought, but we're going to go through this as fast as we can. And uh, as many videos as we can, because... Prediction centers are pretty much over, or at least they're going to be spread out a lot more now, at least till the uh, NHL playoffs come, so expect a lot of videos like this. Um, these are probably going to beat the game, to be honest with you. I'm 100% decided, but I'm pretty sure I will. So yeah, part one's done, and we'll, uh, we'll see you for part two.